Sydney's Royal Botanic Gardens has kicked off autumn with a spectacular display of music, dance and art. The clouds finally parted and the sun shone down on the city as hundreds of people turned out to take advantage of the Autumn Vibes Festival. It's all about connecting music culture with our plants and our wonderful botanic gardens. It was to launch a three-month Autumn of the Arts program, which this year is all about linking plants to their country of origin. Well, this is an opportunity for us to show people how the things in the garden here can be connected to them through other art forms. We, after all, uh, all society is based on plants one way or another, and this is one way of bringing the message home. There'll be plant collections from China, Japan, India, the Pacific and Indonesia, as well as Australia. To display those, the gardens have enlisted the help of musicians, dancers and exhibitions. Autumn of the Arts is a three-month um, program that is across the three gardens of the Royal Botanic Gardens and Domain Trust, namely the Royal Botanic Gardens Sydney, the Blue Mountains Botanic Garden Mount Toma and the Australian Botanic Garden Mount Annan. Um, each garden has a separate program that incorporates um, live performances, um, music days, festival days, as well as art exhibitions, workshops and some competitions. You can hear the thunderous rhythms of Australia's premier Japanese drum ensemble. There's a range of drums, including one that's 2.5 metres high. And if you're lucky, you may even be able to get up and give it a try yourself. For something a little less imposing, there are the sounds of the Japanese bamboo flute, the Chinese violin, and the Chinese guitar. For something with a slower pace, indulge in the experience of a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. So the host is here warming the tea bowl and also checking the tines on the whisk to make sure there are no broken tines that may end up in the tea. Or be mesmerised by some traditional Indian dance. The kids will be occupied with lots of little activities. And when you've worked up an appetite, there's food stalls with treats from regions reflected by the plant collections. Visitors will also be able to hear about the range of work undertaken by the Royal Botanic Gardens and Domain Trust, including sustainability and conservation programs, scientific discovery and new projects to mark the Trust's bicentenary in 2016.